Good morning, fellow modelers and enthusiasts of the RMS Titanic, fellow enthusiasts. Um, I got a little bit of a different video to show you. I want to show you something that's an aftermarket for the kit of the 200 scale trumpeter Titanic. Recently, I did the, the uh, paint colors for you. I did the scale colors and I reviewed to you the whole paint kit for this wonderful model kit. But I had made an error and I want to apologize right now to you for that. <clears throat> Excuse me, when I was referencing the decals, um, well, when I was showing you guys the gold paint for the uh, stripe that goes on top, just under the superstructure around the ship, um, I had said that the model kit came with the instructions and with the decals for the stripe. Um, I want to apologize for that. Um, they don't actually come with that. Let me show you what the kit actually comes with. These are the decals that actually come with the trumpeter kit herself. You got the British flags, the American flags, and of course you got the white star line flag, the pennant. And then, let's see, what are these? The Royal Mail. And we have some warning signs. This vessel is a triple screw. Keep clear of the blades. And of course we have the Titanic of Liverpool. And we have the, is that the French flag? And one of these. These would go on the, the lifeboats, I'm presuming. And that's everything. That That's all the decals. Um, I don't even think there are any decals in the, the detail kit. Um, if I'm wrong, I'll put a picture of them up. But I don't think there are any decals in that kit. But this is what actually comes with the ship. And this is it. So if you're going to put the stripe, you'd have to do it yourself. So what I did was I actually got an aftermarket decal sheet. Let me put this one aside for a minute. <clears throat> I got it from Tucson, Arizona. And this one actually comes with the lines for the striping. For some reason, this is just really, I, I try to mask it off and whether the tape doesn't take and a paint goes through, it, it never comes out perfect for me. Um, I did the model kit, the 1550 win-win, and the uh, it gave me a hard time. So I like this better. Nice, even, and easy to put on. And once the ship's hull is painted, those are going to look very nice. Let me show you what some of the other things that this comes with. We have more of the signs. This vessel has triple screws. Keep clear of the blades. Hull and lifeboat markings for the 1200 RMS Titanic. And you can do it for the Olympic the, 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 and, or the Titanic. You can do the Britannic as well. You can see the line that would go around the aft section, the bow. And these markings for the lifeboats seem to be a little more detail oriented. There are a bit more details. At least it looks that way from this point of view. Let's see how actual, how close I can actually get. So you have the the front of the lifeboat, SS Titanic, and the back of the lifeboat would be Liverpool. Or am I reading that wrong? Is that port is SS Titanic and starboard is Liverpool? But let me show you guys the difference in between the aftermarket 
decals and the kit decals. The kit decals are kind of a little bit blurred and these are a little clearer. So these are show up on the lifeboats pretty good. And let me get a lifeboat and I'll show you the size relation. All right, so we got a lifeboat. And you'll be able to see the relation. So the one that came with the trumpeter kit, the uh, decals are a little, a little fuzzy, a little hard to read, but you can see where they're gonna go. And on the bow. And we turn it over to the aftermarket ones. You can see it's a little bit clearer. So I'm, I'm liking the aftermarket decals for this. For, because when the uh, lifeboats are painted up, they'll look nice, I'll put them white, and these decals are gonna look really nice on it. It's gonna add another level of decal, another level of detail, and another level of enrichment to the model kit. Now this does have, let's see, what are these signs? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tell what they say. I don't know if that's uh, for the class, first class section, but the aftermarket decals don't have, let's see, do they? Nope, just the triple screw blades. And the triple screw blades in white and red and one in black. But with this, you can have the option of doing the Olympic, the Titanic, and the Britannic. <clears throat> and you can see the, the markings for the lifeboats. It would be very nice. And this was $18. So I don't think it was that bad. Um, really not bad at all when you think about the level of detail that you can bring to your trumpeter 1 200 scale you can enhance it that much more because they really do look pretty good and you can read the letters my eyes aren't that great and i can see the letters so it's worth it for the 18 bucks to get that as opposed to putting these on i mean these still look nice but when you look in and you zoom in or you try to use a, a magnifying glass, you can still see that they look, they look smudged or unreadable. And these look really nice. And this is a bonus for me because that's not why I got it. I got it because I like the stripes. To be able to put it on the hull, on this wonderful hull, Absolutely beautiful. Look at the detail. And they've got so many aftermarket kits for this. So many different things to make the, uh, the detail and the authenticity of the model just kind of come right out. Whether it's kits for the smokestacks, the bilge keels. Um, I showed you a couple of them. I showed you guys the, uh, the hull bracing. And I showed you guys the canvas covers for the lifeboats. And I've shown you guys the canvas covers, or not the canvas, but the uh, the covers for the cargo hatches. So those are really nice. And I showed you the paint set. And I showed you the, let's see, the scale decks, the decking for the ship model. That's really nice. And I've shown you the detail set itself. <clears throat> and this model is just going to be amazing. And there are a lot of amazing builders out there. So, 
I just wanted to apologize for saying that this had, I originally had said in my paint video that this was included and it's not included in the trumpeter kit. Only this set of decals is actually included. If you guys want to check out all of the videos that I've made or all the stuff that I have that's related to the Trumpeter 1200 model kit, I made a playlist specifically for that. So if you want to check it out and you just want to watch my videos that are geared towards this wonderful kit, I got them all on a playlist so you can check them out, see what you think. And if they help you, you can think about getting some of those items yourself. So as usual, I thank you guys for watching and I'll be making a video for you very, very soon. Take care.